superstar Dolph Ziggler and you're watching Brett O live. We're at WWE and WDX Fears and today we're at Toys R Us and we're going to be in the WWX Fear. Hey. WDX Fear section. Hey, Brett Alive and Dead Alive, out. Here we are in the WWX section and right off the bat I see this Make-A-Wish John Cena donations one dollar to make a wish which is pretty cool I picked up that figure a while ago uh, you got the million dollar belt stunning Steve Austin you have the macho man which I also picked up link in the top right to go see the review on that you got the NXT ring this is not even the main section but we're gonna head over to the main section right about now but I'm just showing you guys the small smaller section right now and down here you guys got the WrestleMania 33 heritage Undertaker and John Cena, even though they didn't even wrestle at WrestleMania 33, but that is still a cool set. We got the WWE belt, also did a review on that, check it out on my YouTube channel. Uh, Andre the Giant, and then you got a tugboat down there. And then you got some spotlights, Enzo Amore, Big Cass, and then you got Sting back there, and then you got, oh, an Enzo Amore and Big Cass battle pack, and then the Bushwhackers, and then you got a nice SummerSlam battle pack right there. Ultimate War and Honky Tonk Man, and then you got the WWE Dolls, which is not cool, in my opinion, but yeah, for the girls that watch, I mean, like, that's all for you. Uh, you got Dust Rhodes, all the SummerSlam figures, The Rock, Brie Bella, I mean, Nikki Bella, and then Seth Rollins back there, and then the Dean Ambrose Spotlight, pretty cool. If my Dean Ambrose ever broke, I would pick this up, but it hasn't broke yet, so let's get over to the main section. If I haven't mentioned, I'm with Dad Alive today, Dad. Oh, you're recording? Turn around. Oh, hey, how's it going, guys? I'm here with uh, Brett Alive uh, doing it. Hey, and always remember, if you don't like WWE, we don't like you. Ooh, that with the statement. <laughs> here oh, we go. So, so here we, as we go along, we go through Toys R Us. We're quite used to this place. Oh, we Dead is a story? Is. Dead, do you have a story? Uh, no, not really. Oh, Just no stories. Here we are going to And then always talking. look for the army guys. And then to the left yeah. is always the oh. WWE section. <gasps> You have TJP. You have TJ Freaking P. Oh my god. There's millions. Oh, we're definitely picking up this TJP. Again, let me show you this up close. Holy crap. TJP. He got the little medal in there, the Cruiserweight Championship medal. And then you got the Cruiserweight Championship, and then, of course, DJ Perkins. I mean, oh, my God. But we, since they have a million of those, I'm still going to show you the main section. Uh, you got this Hideo Tommy. I don't know what series that is. You got a rock hanging out up there. You got another rock, SummerSlam, Seth Rollins, SummerSlam, Brene Young, and then all the other SummerSlams. You have some, like, little weird little small thing there. New Day Pop Vinyl. I also did, uh, I have those. I did a video on those on my YouTube channel. Also check that out. You have the Raw Ring, the Triple H's, Metal Figs. Uh, I heard there was a Roman Reigns one of these coming out in the stores. Uh, it's a big Roman Reigns, just like this Triple H, and I'm probably going to be picking that up. Uh, you have the Tough Talkers Ring, the uh, Seth freaking Rollins action figure, like almost life-size action figure. You have another Tough Talkers Ring. I've never really gotten to the Tough Talkers. Tell me if this sounds like Brock Lesnar in the comments down below. I don't think so. How about you? We got some little mini uh, kind of uh, pint size heroes. You got Stone Cold and The Rock. Those retail for like $40 to $50. You have the Thank You Daniel Bryan figure, Tyler Breeze, Renee Young, The Rock, and Tyler Breeze again. You have some SummerSlam. Um, Battle Packs, and then you have Ultimate Warrior, Stone Cold, Mr. McMahon, Ultimate Warrior, and Hockey Talk Man again. And here are these, uh, like, kind of, for the, for the girls that watch out there, I mean, like, here you go. There's your, there's, here's your section. I mean, like, bang, you got Brie, Brie Bella and Nikki Bella. Can't go wrong. And then also, uh, for the other, for our girls that watch, I mean, like, there's, you got, there's some women's stuff in this section. You got Styles, Stone Cold, uh, all them. You have another SummerSlam, Mankind. Uh, Mr. McMahon, Dean Ambrose. Uh, here are more uh, for the for the ladies out there. Becky Lynch is at your to local Toys R Us. Check it out. And you got some more Dean Ambrose loaded on the Dean Ambrose. Eva Marie, garbage. And then you got the TJP again, which I'm super pumped for. I'm just trying to show you the entire section. 
you got this Ric Flair robe, which retails for $80. I cannot believe $80. If this was like $40, bucks, $40, $50, I would probably pick it up because it's adult size. But $50, bucks, I mean $80, I, nah, I can't do it. And then you also have the uh, WWE World Heavyweight Championship uh, collectible title by Jax. I also did a review on that on my YouTube channel. Check it out down below. And then you also have that WrestleMania set, as we just showed you in the mini section. You can have some little Dean Ambrose costume for Halloween. Go to your local Toys R Us. You could be Dean Ambrose for Halloween, and you could carry a ladder around. Pretty cool. And then you, you could also be freaking John Cena for Halloween. Let's see how it works. Ah, ah. Yeah, I don't know who's commentating there, but yeah. And check this out. Stunning Steve Austin is only $3. No, I mean, no, no, $12, I mean $13, otherwise I would definitely pick him up if it was 3 You have a Universal Championship, a NXT Championship, a Women's Championship, and this Women's Championship, again, for the ladies out there. There you go, your awesome Women's Championship for the girls that watch. Now shove that back in there. You got the Undertaker Spotlight, Ric Flair, uh, I mean Defining Moments, and Macho Man Spot, uh, Defining Moments, and yes. And then you also have that Eva Marie that Dad looks pretty interested by. Dad, you know what we say to this? Trash it. It's garbage. What about the ladies out there? Oh, yeah, they yeah, yeah. Like True. See. Hey, your local Toys R Us. Go pick up Eva Marie. Boom, pretty cool. Chocolate. And then you also have that John Cena. And definitely go to your local Toys R Us because they have freaking TJ Perkins on the shelves. Again, let me just get a close-up. On this. So I guess we're picking that one up. Oh, yeah, we are. Okay. Let me do a thumbnail here with TJP. Oh, yeah. Let me get him in the picture. Wow. I have a lot of choices there. And, yes, we're going to be picking up TJP. I'm going to pick the best one that I don't think has the most paint mishaps on the figure. But, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely check out some of my others. And I forgot to mention, there is the Roaring. The Roaring is at your local Toys R Us. I did a review on this. Link in the top right to go see it of the pickup in Toys R Us. It comes with an exclusive Goldberg figure as well. And yeah, definitely check that out. And Dead Alive is playing with a tank. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then you also have the Amber's Asylum. Dead? Dead? Tell them what they should have done with this Ambrose you know Asylum. What? Mattel, if you're listening, we like okay. the Ambrose Asylum. Great idea, great idea. But it should have been cut in half. Because we would like to have all of this, but we don't need any of this. Because we have so all that if already. if Mattel is listening, make this by itself. How cool would that be? All Wait, Dad, accessory. show the cut again. Yeah, just right here. So sell But this. we still need the uh, little uh, steel pieces that hold the stuff, that hold the accessories up in the air. Yeah, but, but still, still, it would be nice to have that option. Yeah, still. We could just so buy could this just, yeah. or this or both. Yeah, with all like those cool accessories. Dad, show them what they got in there. Accessories. Well, we have a fire extinguisher, which Dean, if he didn't have the straight jacket on, could clobber somebody on the head with. We have a bucket, which, you know. Put it on somebody's head and kick them in the face. Yeah, if you remember SpongeBob episodes, we planked in with the buckets on their head, so kind of the same thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, Then we have SpongeBob the face movie? mask. Oh, no, Dad, this is, a, this is a strap that they whip people with. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. The strap... Also, mop is always mop. nice because it's good to hit people in the face with a wet Piece mop. of wood? A chunk of two-by, kendo stick, a plant. Oh, yeah, that's uh, Mitch. Plant? Mitch was the name of the plant. There Mitch. You go. A breakaway Rest table. Rest in peace. Right, Dad? Rest, Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Mitch. Mitch okay. got killed. A yes. uh, breakaway table, a garbage can, always fun to smash somebody in the head with some nunchucks, stop sign, and the Ambrose, Ambrose, Ambrose and then Dean also has the a straight jacket. Uh, straight jacket attire Who wouldn't on. want all those accessories, Dad? I want it, but I, I just want don't it. want the whole box. I know. Thank you. Okay. And then they also have the Slammy Award Anarchy. And I just wanted to yeah, get Dad's back. opinion on that. And again, I did a review. Thank we're going to be picking up TJ Perkins. Absolutely. So I'll see you next time. Fred Alive.